Ironically, I went to the University of Arizona to be an architect, and that lasted about six months uh, once I realized that drawing uh, turned into computers and sitting in front of a computer 12 hours a day was not something I wanted to do. And I, I uh, got switched um, uh, degrees into accounting and finance because I knew you could always get a job as an accountant or a finance person. I went to a great company that was lending in commercial real estate and kind of found, fell in love with, wow, it's the perfect left brain, right brain. And so I love design, I love colors, I love trying to figure out, you know, how to make things a little bit better than other things. And, you know, from a mathematical standpoint, I enjoy the finance. If you know your economics, uh, government creates inflation. And so when you pump out four trillion, now another 700 billion, um, you're going to create an inflationary market. That, that spells a lot of troubles for a lot of other more sleepier or more heavily taxed markets. Um, when we speak about Arizona and the micro, thank God we're in a really good state. Um, we've got great leadership from a political standpoint, but we've got great leadership for business leaders who understand that jobs is everything. If you have high quality jobs, then you have high quality um, places for people to live and high quality schools. really comes down to trying to make them better today than they were yesterday. You're trying to make them better for tomorrow. And you're trying to bring them into um, a position where they are, you know, the best at customer service and helping people. But always trying to learn and continuously learn where, you know, you find the best efficiencies and try to do the best job you can for your clients or your customers. I run my organization like a reverse triangle where most people look at a, an organization where you're top down, and top down means the person's dictating down what's going on. In my organizations, it's bottom up. You know, they tell me where they need to go. I listen to that and I give them direction, just like a captain on a ship, but I want to hear from them. If you run it that kind of way, they actually have autonomy and they actually become leaders themselves. And that's really what I, I truly enjoy.